The Salvadoran people will elect a new president on March 9th, and the future of their country is at stake. The Salvadoran people have a choice between a candidate from the ruling political party who wants to continue down the path of a Venezuela-style revolution or a more conservative alternative that is promising more free markets and political freedom. These elections will have an important impact for El Salvador's security, but as well as for regional stability and the security of the United States. That's because there's recent evidence that's emerged that links the ruling political party to street gangs, to international narcotics traffickers, as well as terrorist groups. And for, quite frankly, the policy of deception that's been exercised by the current government causes many doubts about whether we can cooperate with that government in the future. We need to use every tool available to us to help our friends in El Salvador and to punish those who are involved in criminality. We need to increase our assistance to a friendly government, and we want a friendly government in El Salvador, but it will be very difficult to support a government that's involved in the criminality, and unfortunately, that's what's happening there today. The candidate of the ruling FMLN party is a fan of Hugo Chavez. He's praised the Chavez revolution, but the Salvadoran people see on their television screens every night the violence against peaceful demonstrators in that country being carried out by the government of Venezuela. They have to ask themselves, is that the kind of government that we want in our country? Do we want to have broken institutions? Do we want to have criminality? Do we want to have corruption? Or are we going to choose someone else on March 9th?